America at its finest. Rhapsody in Blue, Gershwin, Masterpieces and Genius. George Gershwin was a Russian Jew. He came to America, he was poor, he was a street musician, but he loved music. And we sometimes sing his songs without even realizing that they're his. He lived between 1898 and he died at the young age of about 40. They believe it was a brain tumor. He died in 1937. And this, uh, I would like to leave a, a link below for you so that you can watch a beautiful Warner Brothers archive. It's about six minutes. It has to do with playing Rhapsody in Blue. It's a debut that uh, was in uh, 1945. It's a 1945 film, black and white, but it doesn't matter. It starts with Rhapsody in Blue with a clarinet swing, swaying. Uh, it's almost like it's crying from a low note to a high note. And uh, it's joined by brass and it's joined by a beautiful grand piano. Now, uh, we also know his, he, he, he did a lot of Broadway musicals and uh, of course one of them was uh, Porky and Bess and one of the um, very well-known songs there is Summertime. You know, summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping all the way to the sky. Anyway, Rhapsody in Blue, one of my favorites. When I was working in Wall Street, just across the street from the World Trade Center, well, we used to go out for lunch, and I used to go out for lunch, go shopping, whatever. At one point, I heard somebody playing Rhapsody in Blue on a clarinet. Because of the fact, though, that that whole area had high-rise buildings, there was an echo sound of the clarinet. And there I was running around the sidewalks of Wall Street trying to find where this musician was that was playing Rhapsody in Blue beautifully on his clarinet. I never found him, but uh, it was just amazing. There are street musicians even today in New York and other cities, other big cities try to make a living. And uh, the one I was lucky enough to hear was magnificent. I want to leave a link below for you so that you can watch this. It's about six minutes. Now the cinematography on this is just magnificent because uh, first of all, they have, you notice that the pianist is, uh, has no sheet music. It's, he's playing it all off by heart and he knows it uh, obviously it's in his blood but uh, there's uh, tr beautiful cinematographic uh, images the way they uh, the camera works on, on the orchestra and the pianist is fantastic because they have some overhead shots and you can see that his fingers are just gliding over those keyboard the keyboard of the piano it's just like what can I say it's like uh, it's just surreal uh, it's as if he was his hands were made for this piece of music. I hope you enjoy it. Um, there are a lot of people all over the world that play this music, but I believe that the Americans play it the best. After all, it is American jazz. It is American music. So let me think. We're Once in a while, we do have music uh, interludes, musical videos that I give to you so that uh, we can all enjoy it uh, cultivates our soul, I think. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 